In this video, we're going to be talking about sitemaps and robots.txt files and indexing of all of the pages on your site. So to start, let's talk about sitemaps. Why might you need one? What is one? And how do we generate one? So to start off with, a sitemap.xml file is a list of URLs to all of the pages on your website. Now if your site pages are properly linked to and you have good structure for your URLs and all of your pages are linked to, for example, via the menu system here and through links within the content, then Google and all the other search engines are very likely going to index all of your content by default. However, a sitemap can still improve the crawling of your site, particularly if your site is really, really large. So you have a few thousand pages or a few hundred pages and perhaps they're not linked to so well. A sitemap.xml with all of the links to those pages is going to be really handy for Google. Secondly, if your site has a large archive of content pages and they're not linked to very well from perhaps some newer pages that you've generated, having a list of links to all of those older pages in the sitemap.xml file is again going to really help out Google index your content. And thirdly, if your site is new and maybe you've only got a few external links or no external links yet, having a sitemap.xml again with all of the links to pages on your site is going to tell Google where all of your content is. It's not going to have to wait for somebody to link to that page before it finds out about it. You've already told Google, here's all of my URLs, please go and index everything. Okay, so next up, how do you generate a sitemap.xml file for your RapidWeaver project? Well, the good news is you don't have to. RapidWeaver handles all of that for you. The sitemap.xml file gets updated every time you add a new page or a blog post. And when you publish those changes, RapidWeaver will actually submit the sitemap.xml file to Google automatically for you. So this is really handy. RapidWeaver takes care of everything and Google and the other search engines are going to find out about all of the pages on your website automatically. So let's go and have a look at what a sitemap.xml file looks like. So I'm going to hop over to Safari, go to our live website and have a look at forward slash sitemap.xml. So here you can see an XML document with a list of URLs to all of the pages on our website. And this includes all of the blog posts that we've created, all of the blog archives and the categories and all of the other standard pages that we've included as well. So this is great. As I say, all of the pages on your site are listed here and it's submitted to Google. So all of your content is going to get indexed automatically out of the box with RapidWeaver. Later on, we are going to add our site to Google Webmaster Tools and look at submitting this manually and making sure there's no errors and stuff like that. Um, but as I say, we'll cover that in more detail later on in this series. So next up, let's go and talk about robots.txt files. So if I go back to RapidWeaver, in the page list here, you can see that I've already created a robots page. And if I go to the edit mode and have a look here, you'll see some example content. If you're unfamiliar with what a robots.txt file is, it basically controls how Google and other search engines index the content on your site. And the example code I've got here is saying I want all of the user agents to disallow nothing. So in effect, what I'm saying is everyone can index all of the content on my site. If you wanted to disallow certain folders, you could add the folder path here, say coffee, for example. If you didn't want the that page to be indexed by search engines, then you can add that here. However, in most cases, this is the code that you'll probably have inside of robots.txt file. Finally, inside of here, we just have a sitemap declaration and a full URL to the sitemap.xml file. Now, as I say, RapidWeaver automatically submits this to Google. However, this is good practice to put a link to your sitemap.xml file inside of your robots.txt file. Now, one thing to note when you want to create a robots.txt file with RapidWeaver is that you need to use an HTML page and you also need to make sure that the apply theme option is unchecked because it is a text file, you don't want any HTML or any of the theme styling or anything like that applied to this page. This is a blank text page that we want to create. Finally, you need to place it in the root of your server. To do that, just simply set a forward slash as the folder name, and then the file name must be robots.txt. So that is a very basic robots.txt file, and you might be wondering why you want one of these or the reasons to actually have one. 
And that's a good question. The only time you want to actually create one of these or you need to create a robots.txt file is if you have content that you actually want to block from search engines or you're developing a site that isn't live yet but you've published it to your server and you don't want search engines to actually index your pages yet. In most cases you don't actually need a robots.txt file because not having one will mean that all search engine bots will automatically index all of your content. So I've only added one here as an example and what we could actually do is just delete this file just to get rid of it. That is the most simplest way because as I say all of the search engines will index all of our content by default. So I'm actually going to delete this from our project. And one of the reasons we don't actually need that robots.txt file is because inside of RapidWeaver 7, if you open up the page inspector and go to the meta tags tab, you'll actually see a robots feature here that will allow us to specify whether this page should be indexed, so whether this page should actually be shown in search results, and whether the links from this page should be followed by search engine bots. By default, both of these options are checked and this is the most common settings for all pages on your site. You'll most likely want both of these checked on all pages. However, if there is a page on your site that you don't want to be indexed and you don't want the Google bots to follow links, then you can just uncheck those options here. And RapidWeaver will update the robots meta tag inside of the head HTML element for your page. And I can show you that here by going to preview and we will just view the source for this page. And here you can see that RapidWeaver generates this robots meta tag by default and the content is index and follow. So as I say, that's probably what you're going to want it set to. However, you can change that option here and RapidWeaver will update and say don't follow. So no follow. And we can also say don't index this page. So again, it updates and says no index. And you can check and uncheck these independently. I'm going to leave both of these options checked because I want Google to index all of the pages on my site. So that's sitemaps and robots.txt files inside of RapidWeaver. Before we finish up, I'll just publish any changes that we've made up to the live server. And once that is done, we will continue in the next video.